Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about standalone component. We learned what are standalone components, how to generate them, how to use some of the modules by importing them. Today, I'm going to touch base really quick upon the component template. A lot of you have asked me questions um, in the previous playlist, of course about how do you use templates in different ways, what are the ideal use cases, etc. And hence this tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, before I get started, as always, I'll request you if you have any doubts, need job support, technical help, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Following is the playlist. I started with episode zero, where we covered about the frequently asked questions and all, and then we progressed to different aspects of Angular. Make sure that you check out all the previous episodes in the playlist in order to learn and master Angular. Today we are learning about Angular component template. Right, so components we covered, standalone component we covered. Today I'm covering component template, okay? So what is a template? A component template is the HTML structure of the component or which renders basically the view uh, when the component is loaded. There are two ways that you can use template in any component. Was first way is to use the write the HTML directly in the component decorator. The second is to mention the template URL, which is where you'll separate the structure that is the HTML from the component metadata, right? So let's go ahead and explore both the ways and I'll quickly show you some variations of it. So I'm still using uh, Angular 14 uh, project that we started and I'm going to use um, some of the components that we generated in the previous episodes. All right, so take an example of this now. So this is a pending task component. Now in the component metadata, you would see template URL, right? So like I said, there are two ways to it, right? So there are two ways how you can use one by specifying template URL, which is what the generic um, will always be generated when you use Angular CLI. So if you say ng generate component here, you can notice and I'm saying say admin. Um, say for now, I'm just going to say call it admin and you generate it should give an error. Yep, because we have to I have more than one module. So I'm going to specify that. I hope I'm okay. So it generated a component. Now see the basic component that is generated will use default mechanism, which is template URL. Okay. It will always generate template URL, which is nothing but the HTML file that we will write. This is where our HTML, or you can say this is what gets rendered once the component is loaded. Okay. So that's number one, which is using template URL. But let's say I this is of, of course very simple straightforward use case we all know it if not uh, if you are a beginner don't get confused this is where let's say you write your say welcome to admins panel okay so you write your HTML you can write link you ul li list uh, any HTML right so that's fine you can write tables and any anything with respect to HTML you can add in the dot html file for that particular component once this component is rendered you can see that so i'm going to render this component real quick and how do you do that by taking the selector name okay copy the selector name that is app admin go to any other um, component where you want to include it and say app admin okay so that's what we will write the selector name that becomes calling of the component I'm going to serve this real quick. Okay, while it's building, please do take a moment to like, to kind of subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you. All right, so I have compiled that now. So now let me go ahead and see the open the default. So you can see here, welcome to admin panel. We can see the list. So basically, whenever you render this component, it will go here and say that this is the template. This is the HTML that I have to render because here you are mentioning template URL. That's by default. Now that's number one, but there are cases where you don't need a 
uh, too much of HTML or something, right? You just basically need some HTML, like uh, maybe a single paragraph or a H1 or some message or a, something like that, right? Let's say you're building an alert component. You don't really need a .html file for it because you might want to just throw in a message, right? So in that, those cases, you have an option. You can delete this and you can just write template, okay? So by doing that, you can just pass and do the HTML right here instead of having a separate file to manage. Welcome to admin panel. Now see, I'm writing it right inside the component metadata. Direct. So inside the component decorator, I'm writing the template itself option and I'm writing the welcome to admin panel. So now if we go to the rendering of the page, you see it says welcome to admin panel from component decorator right so see now it is not rendering dot html so there are cases where you don't need a too much of a html file to maintain everything you can just mention template and write the html right here it doesn't matter okay now what are the use cases right where should you use these things so first is template url the second is directly writing template now where should you use okay Always um, going by the best practices, right? Uh, code separation, right, is a is a good practice. Okay, so always try and separate out your HTML from the view. That's a good practice. But let's say you have a dead component, right? Dead simple component. Now, why I call it dead simple component? Because it won't do anything, right? Now there are rarely components which don't do anything, right? I'm not saying you can't write more more HTML here you can definitely write more than one HTML and that should be totally fine but that has to be multi-line support okay so for that you'll use the templates so variable so you'll use this and then end it here like this okay so this is how you can write multi-line HTML also inside this got it so you can write multi-line multi HTML. Again, if you look, the code becomes messy over a period of time. Output is same, but it becomes messy over a period of time. So if you know for sure that your component will have only some dead simple message um, or some just basic notification or something without much of, uh, without any events or say any emitting back uh, data, etc., probably there you could use template, okay? How many templates can be allowed? Um, only one, only one template URL per component, okay? Now, a lot of people have asked me in the past, can I write like something like, if I give a path here and make it a array and pass multiple HTMLs? No, you can't do that, okay? Sorry. <laughs> so you have to give only one HTML per component. That's the restriction, okay? So in template, you can write multi-line HTML, okay, inside template, but you have to use string literal, okay. That is right in between this, okay. So that's how you do, that's particularly uh, all about temp component template that you should know. We can write any HTML we want, and there are two ways to use it, either using template URL or use directly template. Either way is fine. Avoid using template and have a code separation so that your code uh, quality is maintained over a period of time and it doesn't get complicated. Okay, that's my best practice advice to you. All right, that being done. Um, so that's all about component template at this point of time that you should know. In the next episode, I'll cover component styles um, where we'll see different variations of how to use styles in component differently like how we saw for template and then we'll progress to component life cycles. Okay, thank you so much for joining in this episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're learning. Please do drop your comments if you like, if you're learning from the series. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.